This is D with Divine L and Divine Needle. Um, I was given this reading this morning, and I knew there was a lot more to it. It's interesting, it just started raining again. A rainmaker, an omen. Okay, there was another reading uh, that just popped into my head. It was, um, oh, who did that reading? <laughs> they got the frog, which is an omen, a rainmaker, right? And it just started raining. <sighs> okay. <sighs> One thing that I know for sure, you have to pay attention to everything going on around you, including the fact that it just started raining again. It's an omen. <sighs> All right. So, this reading I did this morning, <laughs> these are the cards that came out. You can go check out the reading yourself, and you can listen to my comments. I knew this was more than what it appeared to be. This was telling me to go look it up. Go seek out the answers. And I did. The Sabian Mysteries. A Christmas tree decorated. But that's not what I was feeling from that photograph. I was feeling energy moving upwards to the stars. I said, this feels very much Phoenix Rising star card energy combo. And I was like, I'm fascinated. What is this telling me? And I started the reading out and got this one. I was like, yep, there we go. It feels like a repeater of that energy. You got that triangle. See the triangles, the three triangles going up. And I said, we have liftoff, Houston. That feels like a pilot or an astronaut taking off into the sky. Also notice the two pillars. Something else that repeats in this reading. <clears throat> Let's put that there. Then I did the reading. <clears throat> we got overall energy, the lover's card, key six. Highest priority, shining quarry, and we're mindful of prepare for the blind seer, two of swords. And then the underlying energy was the seeker, spirit in search of science. So that was their cue telling me to look in the direction of science. And boy, did I get some answers about what this was all about and why I felt like there was liftoff. <sighs> Closing out the reading was this card. <clears throat> Once again, feels like two rockets right here. See the clouds on either side? These feel like rockets to me. And that feels like the energy of rockets. Propelling a man upwards into the sky between the sun and the moon. So, a repeat of the energy. Two rockets. Okay, let me explain what's going on here. <clears throat> and what I found. First of all, there was a near miss with the Dragon X crew um, a couple of days ago. Um, they It was a UFO that nearly collided with their craft while they were getting ready to sleep. That was, um, let me look. Uh... That's not it. Uh, that was the Dragon Endeavor spacecraft. Uh, SpaceX crew. And that was a couple of days ago. And it's funny because a friend of mine, she got a lot of threes in her reading and I got twos. And I told her, I said, 
during the reading this morning, I said, it feels like a countdown. And it is a countdown. And they've been pointing me in the direction because we had some crews come back to Earth recently, this past the end of last week, that they, my team was telling me to take a look at. And I did. I watched those entries um, because it felt like there was some sort of imminent doom. <clears throat> those guys all arrived safely. However, something's not going to arrive safely soon. Um, so, let me change what we're recording here to my desktop. And I'll show you what I was looking at. Um, Okay, this is an um, article from Space.com, NASA adds ULA's Vulcan Centaur rocket to launch lineup for future missions. That's one thing that's in the headlines. Um, and then another thing that's in the headlines is this. And this is um, Ed Hat at a Santa Barbara Delta IV launch from Vandenberg. The thing is that that launch is a spy satellite. And for a minute, I thought, and they could be talking about this as well. But but let me point something else out. Let me go back to the table here. Eye in the sky. Eyes in the sky. So I think they're talking about that launch as well. <clears throat> um, because of the eye in the sky here. But um, also this is the Blind Seer card. Um, they often use that card for me as a clue card. Because that's them telling me you're the Blind Seer. See what we're trying to tell you. So, anyway, um, back to where we were. Anyway, this uh, United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket. Um, National Reconnaissance Office payload launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base Monday afternoon. And this was a spy satellite going up. Notice the two side rockets. Um, just like the two pillars on the cards, on the, this control card and stuff um, that I was showing you. Anyway, uh, National Security Space Launch is a no-fail mission that requires the highest level of professionalism and dedication from all airmen and guardians assigned to Team Vandenberg. Okay, anyway, that's a spy satellite. <laughs> So, <clears throat> we have all these, um, you see, huge Delta IV heavy rocket launches U.S. spy satellite to orbit. This is coming from Live Science. Shows the takeoff here. And that's a spy satellite going up. So, eyes in the sky. And that is this card. Eyes in the sky. It's by satellite. And I see the two rockets to the side here. The two pillars representing the rockets. They use these cards in weird ways to talk to me. Here's the two pillars again right here. Okay. But this is talking about manned missions. This. These are manned missions. This one, abundance. Now let's get back to what they're trying to point at. Yahoo News. China to launch heavenly 
Harmony Space Station Core Module. Notice once again we have two side rockets on this device that they're getting ready to launch. Evidently tomorrow, which they come to tomorrow before we do. So it could be any time. Today's the 28th. Right now, this was put up at 2.36 a.m. And it is 12.56 p.m. Central Standard Time. Right now, as I record this. Beijing, China plans to launch the core module for its first permanent space station this week in the latest big step forward for the country's space exploration program. The Ta Tainhe or Heavenly Harmony module is set to be hurtled into space aboard a Long March 5B rocket from the Wenchang Launch Center on the su southern island of Haiyan. Or, yeah, I know how to pronounce it, but I can't do it for, for the life of me right now. And it, that's unimportant. <clears throat> anyway, um, Hanan, yeah, the launch could come as early as Thursday night if all goes as planned. It would be the first of 11 missions to build the supply, build and supply the space station for a three person crew. What's interesting is they were pointing me at a three person crew back last week because there were three people coming back to the planet in one of the um, other dragon missions I believe uh, that was coming back um, anyway so here's the thing um, let me go back here back to the cards so not only were they showing me with this and I know a lot of people would look at that and see a Christmas tree that's not what I saw that's not what I felt I felt a launch and this is about these launches coming up spy satellites and stuff but here's the thing that that uh, mission that space station is going to be called Heavenly Harmony. Heavenly Harmony. <sighs> this is about Heavenly Harmony and China. <sighs> you know, um, the Orient, the House of the Rising Sun, right? And then you have the moon. So here's the deal, <clears throat> the lover's card. What are they telling me here? A whole hell of a lot. First of all, see the Kabbalistic tree back here, part of the dynasty card in the back? Feels very much like pieces of a space station being put together, right? That's the first thing. Notice, Below it is a dragon. The dragon, China. China, the red dragon, right? That's the first thing they showed me. The other thing is the eagle on the other side of the card. That's the US and countries allied with them. The snake right above it, snake in the grass. shoots down into the water. Keep that in mind, just watch. Also, we have, sorry, my son just came in. We have the Shining Quarry. This is the Night of Earth. This is talking about things orbiting the Earth. Okay. 
That's what this card's indicating to me. Things that are orbiting the Earth, including a spy satellite that just went up. <sighs> this is all about science. This is them telling me to look in the science realm. Seeking answers about this reading. The card right below that, the eminence, nine of orbs. <sighs> this feels like, see how these orbs feel like they're orbiting her? Orbiting Gaia, the earth, right? These are things orbiting her. Chariots, they're calling them chariots. Space chariots. But here's the thing. There's contention between these two. And this chariot, I believe China's chariot, is going to go down in flames. The shining flame. See, this is going to be like it coming back down to Earth. <sighs> Spirit and petition of spirit. <sighs> Causing this manned mission, the people aboard, to end up in spirit, basically. And this card representing Shots fired or an explosion of some sort um, going off in all different directions. This is the wands, card scepters, a uh, fire energy going in different directions. And then they go on and they tell me why this happens. The corruptor. This card is about poisons around, including, including snakes. Snakes above the eagle. Poisons around. And who are the poisons? New World Order. Not our New World Order, the other one that they're trying to put together. Holy water and the shining dew. That's the ship coming down. This is, the bird represents the ship coming into water. See, shooting down into water. They're going to shoot it down and it's going to crash into the water. This is flying down to the water. <clears throat> this represents where that came from. And see how there's islands just off the coast? And where it's launched from, that feels like that island they're going to be launching that space station from. <sighs> the defector. The Holy See, the conservator, and the defector are right under that. And the ebony shield, the queen of earth. Queen of Earth. <sighs> Here's the thing, and I said this to my husband. If I make this public, that's giving China a heads up. This gives China a heads up. A major heads up. Hierophant, card of Taurus. Withholding energy, trying to hang on. Defector energy, Queen of Earth. Oh. 
heartbroken tower energy. And the earth goddess. I'm going to talk to my husband about that. If I tell the public what's getting ready to happen and who's doing it and there won't What's behind it? What does that mean exactly? See how that feels very orientalish. This picture feels very oriental. This is about that space station harmony. This is definitely about harmony, heavenly harmony, that launch. <sighs> All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an entirely different deck. Let me put that off, put this off to the side. All right, so you all see the cards that are down, put these back in the deck, oh, put them in upside down, there we go, everything upright, yeah, we're good, all right, so, does that make me a bad person for making this public, I don't think so, because it's a loss of life that should not be happening, for very, very bad reasons. Very bad reasons. Really bad reasons. Pride, sloth, envy, jealousy. <sighs> Avarice. It makes me angry and it should make you angry too because this is the nonsense that keeps the world in perpetual fear and division we don't want division we want unity and i don't give two shits about the governments i don't give two shits about any of the governments it's the people that matter. 100%. I'm going to pull out Heaven and Earth Tarot. And we're going to get a bead on this a little bit better. Let's see what we can get. I'm angry. This makes me angry and it should make you angry too. Because what they're telling me is something... I don't know, but it feels like some hanky-panky is going to befall this, this mission, this um, heavenly harmony mission. That's the way it feels. All right, so um, we're going to dig into this a little bit more, although I think they gave us a lot of info here. That is a lot of info. They gave us a ton. Why in the sky? Spy satellites. <sighs> this should make all of you angry. <sighs> Trying to decide what I want to ask. What should I ask? <sighs> I 
What is the outcome, please? What is the outcome of heavenly harmony, please? What is the outcome of heavenly harmony? Outcome, hangman, stuck like Chuck, also gaining a higher, wider perspective over a situation, queen of swords, <sighs> off with their heads, I just heard. <sighs> Despair and cruelty, Despair. This is also, this is the Nine of Swords. This is the Cathedral of the Damned. This is anxiety personified. Material success. Equal give and take. Making offers to those less fortunate. Princess of Wands. This is the page. This is the strategist of the of the pages queen of cups wearing our hearts on our sleeves and princess of pentacles and a little ant that has joined us for the party you see him everything means something what are you doing here little guy I'm coming in for the reading <laughs> We are like little ants, aren't we? <sighs> so for you guys, your little colonies are better at communicating than the human beings on this planet. All right. <clears throat> Come here, let me, give me a second, I'm gonna pause this so I can put him in a safer location. Okay, he just got launched. <laughs> okay. So, and the Princess of Pentacles. Moving, these are messenger, oh, that's the messenger of Earth card for me. I have a funny feeling this is them talking about how I'm feeling about all this. Stuck like Chuck. Angry, wanting to take their heads off for what they're planning on doing. The anxiety that that causes about sharing this information. This is me making the sharing the offering. Princess of Wands strategizing and wearing my heart on my sleeve. <sighs> Messenger of Earth. They're just telling me to go forward and t tell you guys this, basically. To give you guys the message. <sighs> Bottom of the deck. Three. Established strength. I'm waiting for the ships to come in. When I see this card, <clears throat> it reminds me of um, waiting for our ships to come in. As in space travel ships. <sighs> Princess of Cups. Their ship's coming into water. 
this what it indicates to me is that this will crash land in the water shot down into the water to the water I hope I'm wrong <sighs> princess of cups <sighs> this feels like all of us offering our condolences. That don't want to see something like this happen. You know, um, the U.S. is called Turtle Island. There's a turtle in this cup and that, that's us from here sending that this is not, this isn't from the American people. Long Hard Travels, the camel in the background, and intuition, secrets, letting go of these secrets, exposing the secrets. So that's the outcome. But will anybody listen? Predicted all three major eruptions of the volcanoes in the Virgin Islands. And I think they did that trying to get people to listen. <sighs> Using me, the Earth Messenger. All right. Predictions of the volcanoes and other things. Lebanon, the bombing in Lebanon there. Um, they use these cards to tell me things. And they pointed me last week at the recent incoming and uh, inbound from space. And now they're what do you mean to look at what's going up? And you guys should too. That spy satellite, there's something significant about it. Or they wouldn't be telling me about it in the cards. Eye in the sky. <sighs> now, the only thing... As if people actually listen. I have a funny feeling it won't be enough listening to get China to stop their launch. So, we possibly can expect to see that come right back down again. <sighs> Into the water. I don't know if anybody's going to listen or not. <clears throat> I really don't. all about division. Two sides being petted. And I know there's a lot of crap going on with Taiwan. So I have a funny feeling that they're going to use that space station Heavenly Harmony as a um drive the point home kind of thing with China. Whatever it is, it's not good. 
And we can only hope that somebody from their government or their space program hears this, but it's unlikely. <sighs> All right, so they wanted me to put this out, so I am. Whether it happens or not, it needs to be seen. But the Virgin Islands volcano is right down to where and when the eruptions were going to happen. Three times in a row. All the major eruptions. There were three major and all three. <sighs> Including the last one that was right after dawn. All right, so there it is. I just don't even know what else to say, except for apologize to the people of the planet for this absolutely horrendous behavior on the part of the governments. It sickens me, and it sickens most of the people on this planet that actually are awake and realize that all of them are... Very nasty customers that need to be stopped. All right. I'm done. I'm going to upload these to both the channels. Maybe somebody will listen. Who knows? Unfortunately, I don't think I've got enough of these predictions under my belt for anybody to listen, but we'll see. I really don't like it when they give me bad news. 